Hello and welcome to Fountain FX on Wednesday the 28th of May 2014. Um, Euro, US dollar, we're on the one hour chart. Yesterday I left you with a task to tell me whether or not we should stay in or get out of this trade. And uh, overwhelmingly you all decided on staying in. Thank you very much. And um, the answer that we got really was at this point, if you really think about it, if you were trading at this point, it would be quite challenging because price is falling. And uh, as Paul asked, he said, well, what do you think when, obviously, when you get in a big wick formation, this candlestick would have been a very strong body at the point when you're looking at it. Key thing is, is you always have to set predefined parameters. That's always how planning helps because that can override your emotions if you allow it to. Um, but the other thing is is that you have to let the candlestick finish forming as well for it to be a valid candlestick. And when this one finished forming, we then saw huge, huge long wick, which is telling us selling pressure. From this level here, there's a lot of selling pressure came in. So that was giving me confidence to remain with the trade because of that. So it wasn't just the fact that the MACD was going down and that we had got divergence of the MACD even though price was pushing up. It was showing that, yes, this is a potential turning point. You've got the MACD pushing down, some momentum's declining. Um, price has pushed up, but now it's pushed back down to our entry level. And then we've got this very long wick, which is showing selling pressure. So if you'd have been a, um, a day trader, for example, if I'd have been sitting here as a day trader and I'd have seen that with the MACD pushing down and when price pulled all the way back up, potentially I would have tried to have taken a, an entry here, a sell entry there and let it run. But in this instance, what we're actually doing is we're doing a swing trade. Um, so we've planned it on bigger picture charts. We've planned it on like the, the monthly, weekly, uh, daily, and then four hourly. And then we've triggered it on the one hour. And on the one hour, it's therefore gone against us by 20 points at this point. But we, we stuck with it because we're not doing a day trade and going, oh, it's gone five points or 10 points against me. I need to get out. We're looking at 20 to you know 40 points maximum or I say 40 points of risk because it's allowing you room for price to turn and then continue in the direction in which it's going so we are now in we're up 20 points we're looking for price to go down based on previous price action we're looking at the 136 in fact the 135.90 is an area of support where price may potentially turn again so that's going to be our target so we're going to let price continue to run we can manage our stop. I could take my stop and drag it down and place it at our entry and uh, basically say, there you go. We've now got a free trade. We're not going to lose any money on this. So it's now about how much money can we make? And that's really the, the benefit of trading is that, you know, when you take it, once you get to a point whereby um, you now understand how to take high probability trades, your entries, and then you can get... Um, your trade to zero risk can't you? you can only take profit from it so the more you get to the practice of looking for high probability trades and that's it from fountain fx today thank you very much we will see how this continues to pan out uh, during the week um, it may at the moment this may prove to be an area of support where price doesn't want to get through and it turns and it breaks and it pushes higher at which point i will probably look to take um, my trade off because I would like it to continue down. Uh, it's interesting the fact that it has broken lower than this previous area of support. Um, the fact that when it's come down to it and it's pushed up, it hasn't got all the way back up to this previous high shows that it's consistent with the downtrend. So it's really about sticking with it and seeing where we go. Um, it may be a case I move my stop down to my entry, so I've got zero risk from here. But there's various different options we can do key thing is about managing your trade and managing your risk and not just letting anything happen to it from here on out so you need to be looking at your trades every day but you can do this alongside a job uh, the way in which I've traded this last few days shows that we're in a trade we're making profit it's good and we're doing it and we're letting the market do whatever it does in terms of news and all this other stuff that can confuse us irritate us and upset us um, Despite all of that, news came out yesterday, price went like this, so what? Um, it's still moving down, big picture downtrend, so we're in, we're in a trade with the trend. We should be making some profit, and we are. So that's it really from Fountain FX. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.